When you're the world's greatest supervillain, you have one goal. That is to be the best at being bad. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, when Gru suddenly became the father of three young girls, his priorities changed. I know what makes you a boy. You do? Her bald head. Oh, yes. Sometimes I imagine a little chick popping out. Good night, Agnes. Never get older. In Despicable Me 2, Gru's just like any other dad with girls, completely overwhelmed and out of his league. Oh, oh, when's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. Yay! <laughs> now, even though Gru is no longer a bad guy, the bad guys are still out there doing bad guy stuff. So, when a secret agent tells him... You're gonna have to come with me. Oh, sorry, I freeze I... You know, you really should announce your weapons after you fire them. For example... <laughs> Lipstick taser! Little does he know, he's been jacked by a crazy woman named Lucy Wilde, who works for something called the AVL. We are the Anti-Villain League. You know how a villain thinks. That's why we brought you here. Uh, I am the League's director, uh, Silas Ramsbottom. Bottom. <laughs> Hilarious. I have been recruited to go undercover and save the world. I'm your new partner. Yay! Dave, Earth today. You can leave now. So, there is already a lot on Gru's plate when the absolute worst thing happens. His oldest daughter, Margot, discovers boys. Of course, the boy that she likes is the son of his prime suspect. This is not good. Hey, what's wrong? I hate boys. Yes, they stink. <laughs> and what about the little happy-go-lucky minions? Well, you'll just have to wait and see. Dave Stewart, come this way with me. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. If you see only one despicable movie this year, see this one.